Uh, so let me know for those of you, like I said, for those of you who are live, let me know what's coming up. So really make sure to come back to who you are. So I'm just going to read a note here and then I'm going to continue here. So, um, Yeah, that really blows my mind. I know in Canada, the prime minister actually told people like you need to stay home. So yeah, you can't really force anybody to. I'm the only one in the house that takes us from the in my neighbor's head. Design and art. Here's the thing, you're not responsible for other people. So really is kind of knowing, and I know sometimes, especially in times like this, we kind of feel like we have to be responsible for other people, but it'd be doing what you, you need to do and letting people know, but at the same time, we can't force other people to do certain things. I know the, the Canadian government now is saying that I think that they're gonna start to, um, give out like big fines and like potential prison sen uh, sentences for people who are supposed to be in quarantine and are not listening. Um, yeah, I think the best thing is, yeah, I know. I think in this case here, it's just basically sitting at home and not focusing on all of that and not letting them inside your house, obviously, just let who is allowed inside your house. But yeah, I totally get it that some people are not stopping to think to see um, how their actions are putting other people at risk. And that's really, really sad. Um, in that case, I was just focus more, you're doing what you can and stay at home. Don't let those, don't let them inside your house, obviously. Um, and just kind of just come from energy of love, but I know it's not easy. So design and art keeps popping in. Awesome. Yeah, I can definitely see that for you. So really start focusing on what it is that you want. Come back to source. Yeah. Obviously you can't, but you yeah. See, those are not exactly easy situation. Maybe, do you do any type of like energy healing? Because if yes, maybe you could like just clear my, clear the energy inside the house. And my partner, yeah, those are not exactly easy. I'm trying, yeah, then just set the intention. You're sending love, you're sending love. Um, well, try to take the precautions that you need. And when they come in, make sure that they like sanitize their hands <laughs> and stuff like that. But hopefully that will, um, hopefully those little tips will help you. I said, I'm sending you lots of love to help you be able to manage going through all of this. Because I know for a lot of people right now, you're trying to, but it's like there's also other people's factors which can kind of complicate it. So try to like focus on the positive while at the same time, taking the applicable precautions that you need to take. Um, and once again, make sure that you take time to take nice deep breaths because when we're out of, when we're either experiencing trauma or we're in overwhelm or we're weary or fear, we go out of our bodies. And then what we focus on attracts a lot more of it. So come back into, like take nice deep breaths to come back into your body. Um, that's going to help. And then do the grounding. It's going to help quite a bit. So let me just cough here. So right now I'm just going to do some clearing because like I was saying, I've um, been detoxifying. So because of that, I'm not going to stay on as long as I used to. And it's 11-11 where I am. So the angels are definitely talking. Hey, excited that you're here. So right now I'm just going to do a bit of clearing. So make sure for this part that you are in a safe place. You're not walking. You're not um, driving, you're not operating any type of machinery. You shouldn't be anyways, because you should all be at home self-isolating unless you're an essential worker and you need to be out like people at like the grocery stores. And um, I know certain people, if you're working like in the hospitals or even like grocery stores. And first of all, if that's you, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, being of service to other people because I'm sure for some of you you probably wish you could just sit at home until this is done so thank you for being of service thank you for actually going out and doing your work um, to be of service for other people um, because like I said I don't know if I would have been that brave to be able to do so thank you for all of that because I don't think that 
the people, the essential workers, I don't think they're giving enough credit. Because um, really, if it wasn't for them, we would be in trouble. Like we'd be more in trouble than we are. So thank you for, for that. So now I'm just gonna do the clearing. So first thing first, like I said, make sure you're in a safe place. You're not walking, you're not uh, driving, you're not operating type of machinery because you want to be in a safe place where you can fully receive these energies because for some of you, you may go in a trance and some of you may actually fall asleep. So just give yourself the gift to be in this present moment where you can receive these clearing energies. So this way here, you're also helping to manage your energies, um, which are very important during this time. So first thing first, so make sure you're sitting down, your back is straight, feet flat on the floor, or lying down, whatever's comfortable for you. Start by taking a deep breath in. And feel yourself coming back into your heart. Now when you take a few deep breaths in, and as you exhale, just feel any stress or tension is leaving your body and you're becoming lighter and lighter as you're letting go of all of this. Continue to take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, just feel there's more stress and tension that's leaving your body. You're becoming lighter and lighter. And as you're becoming lighter and lighter, you're becoming healthier and healthier. going to start by doing some clearing around the lower energies taking on from the collective so divine source please delete clear and dissolve any lower energies taking on from the collective such as stress anxiety anger shame so let's clear all of this and all timelines dimensions realities on a permanent level now thank you I let that run a little bit. Double sip. And divine source, please start to clear, dissolve, delete any lower energies that are my own, such as anxiety, stress, resentment, shame, anger. Let's clear all of this and all timelines, dimensions, realities on a permanent level now. Thank you. Once again, feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter as you're letting go of all these energies, lower energies. And feel your energetic vibration going up, up, up as you have more and more energies. <sighs> so right now I'm just gonna do some clearing about any stuck energies that are in your energy field, including your chakras. For some of you, you may feel energies in some of your chakras, or you may not. Just know whatever you're experiencing is what's normal for you right now. some of you right now it's possible you may be seeing some sparks of white light or maybe gold light maybe another color or maybe a mix of color once again just know whatever you're experiencing is what you're meant to experience right now so divine source may start to run the isa manifesting light code joy now thank you if 
when the source plane start to run, the integrated soul activation, grounding activation now. Thank you. And just feel yourself connecting to the grounding yet gentle energies of Mother Earth. And as she grounds, you just feel yourself really connecting to your body. I want you to start by taking a deep breath in and feel yourself coming back into your body. Take another deep breath in and feel yourself being back fully in your body. You're fully aware of the room that you are in. Take another deep breath in and wiggle your hands and your feet and your body a little bit just to make sure that you're back. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in and open your eyes. For those of you who are alive, let me know how you're feeling. And yes, I know today I didn't do a full meditation like I did uh, this week. It's just I'm going through a massive detox myself. So because of that, um, I'm limiting today what I'm doing for a clearing work. But I still wanted to come in to do a bit of clearing for all of you. So those of you who are alive, let me know how you're feeling. And if you're watching the replay, let me know as well because I always love to know how you're doing. Um, hopefully these are really helping you. So tomorrow I'll be back in at 11 a.m. Pacific, which is um, 2 p.m. Eastern to do this community support group. And tomorrow I'll do a full healing like I, I've done the, the rest of the week. It's just like I said, today I'm not 100%. So if I'm telling you to listen to your, to your body, I need to listen to it myself. So feel the energy moving through my body. My pleasure, love, love. I'm so excited you were here. Hopefully everybody else, this is helping you as well. And like I said, we're all in this together. Oh, it is my pleasure and I'm so happy you're able to come in live. So I'm not naming names because I don't, because this recording is going to be going all over the place. I don't want to name names. Um, but I'm happy that at least I'm able to help you all going through all of this. Because like I said, we're all in this together. You're not alone. Some of you may feel that you're alone but you're not. We're going through this all together. Some of us were managing this better, which I mean, I've done a lot of work that's allowed me to be able to manage this better, but it's just know you're not alone and that we're all in this together and we're going to rise much stronger with all of this. So I'm going to wish you all a magical day. Thank you for joining me either live or on the replay. I so appreciate all of you. And like I said, you're not alone and you, you come out of this a lot more stronger. So wish you a magical day and I'll talk to you all tomorrow at 11 p.m. for another community support call. This is Patricia Elizabeth from thepatriciaelizabeth.com. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.